Hi, welcome to lecture number 51 of Fuzzy Sets Logic and Systems and Applications. In this lecture, I will discuss Mamdani fuzzy model. So, the Mamdani fuzzy model basically uh, is the first fuzzy model which was developed in 1975 by Professor E. H. Mamdani and this model was used to control a steam engine and boiler combination by a set of linguistic control rules obtained from human operators that means the experience human experience. So, Mamdani model is a very interesting model in the sense that we use the set of fuzzy rules of a specific type. So, Mamdani model we use when we have fuzzy rules, fuzzy if then rules of the type here, where in the fuzzy if then rules we have see here the premise part and here we have the consequent part. So, when both the parts of the rule, the premise as well as the consequent, both the parts are fuzzy, then we use Mamdani model. So, in other words, we can say that Mamdani model is used when we have a set of rules, set of fuzzy rules available is like this where the premise part of the rule is fuzzy and the consequent part of the rule is also fuzzy. So, this means that both the parts the premise and consequent are fuzzy. Please also note that the Larsen also Larsen model which is also one of the fuzzy models is also using the same kind of if then rules. So, since we are discussing here the Mamdani fuzzy model, so we will be dealing all the rules of this type, all the fuzzy rules of this type. So, we already know that we have a fuzzy inference system and fuzzy inference system has multiple components. How many components? Four components. The first component is the fuzzy fire which I am denoting by F and the second component here is the inference engine. I am denoting this by I E. The third component here is the fuzzy rule base. I am writing here as F R B. And the fourth component here is the D fuzzy fire. I am denoting this by D F. So, whenever any input comes to the fuzzy inference system here, I will just mark the fuzzy inference system like this here by here. So, this is what is the fuzzy inference system, a typical fuzzy inference system and inside it we have four blocks, four components which are acting uh, and to give the suitable output corresponding to the input that are fed, inputs that are fed. So, here we have the output. So, exactly uh, the same are mentioned here. You see here the fuzzification, the first 
the fudgification and then the rule evaluation means uh, we should have a set of fudgy rules, fudgy if then rules which basically helps in uh, helps the inference engine to generate the suitable output, suitable fudgy output. So it's written over here that if a given fuzzy rule has multiple an antecedent, so a fuzzy rule can have, can be a various kind which I will be discussing. And the fuzzy operator and or R is used to obtain a single number that represents the result of the antecedent evaluation. This number is then applied to the consequent membership function. So, in nutshell, what is happening here is that we have a fuzzy rule base which helps the inference engine to give the output, to generate the output corresponding to the input, the fuzzy input that is fed to IE and uh, when it is done, the output is basically the uh, every rule is generating certain output. So, we aggregate all the outputs corresponding to the fuzzy rules and then the aggregated output is uh, in Mamdani fuzzy model, we have the aggregated output which is fuzzy output which is a fuzzy quantity. So, then we need to defuzzify this output to generate a crisp output, crisp value. So, let us understand how a Mamdani fuzzy model works for the following cases. So, I am going to talk about three cases where we have the Mamdani model and uh, Mamdani model can use the max min composition or max product composition which is mentioned here and then again the input that is fed to the fuzzy model can be either the fuzzy or crisp. So, then we have three cases. First case here is that the single rule, when we have a model with single rule, with single antecedent. So, this means that if I have, let us say, a fuzzy model which is which is having only a single rule and uh, that rule is with the single antecedent. And then we have another case where the model can be with single rule with multiple antecedents. Then the third case could be the multiple rules with multiple antecedents. So, all these three scenarios will be discussed in coming slides in this lecture and uh, again these three scenarios will be discussed uh, when we will be using max min composition, max product compositions and again for the fuzzy inputs and crisp inputs. So, let us go one by one. So, now let us start with the first scenario where we have a Mamdani fuzzy model and uh, this Mamdani fuzzy model has only single rule with single antecedent. Uh, you can see the rule here in the Mamdani model, Mamdani fuzzy model. So, the rule basically says if x is a 
and x is a then y is b so we already know what is x so x is nothing but the generic variable the input and this input is nothing but the generic variable similarly a is a fuzzy region a is some fuzzy some fuzzy value that means the fuzzy set and what is y here y is the output and b here is basically b here is the again the fuzzy value so when we have a single rule and the input is coming to the model let's see what happens so as i have already mentioned in fis when we discussed fis we saw that we have five block four blocks the first block takes the input and uh, it converts the input into a fuzzy value so this means that this the input is first fuzzified then it passed on to the inference engine where various compositions uh, and aggregations are done with the help of uh, fuzzy rule set that is available and then this output that is generated out of the inference engine is normally a fuzzy output and which is converted into crisp value by the defuzzification defuzzifier or defuzzification so let us now give an input here to this fuzzy model and let's see what happens so we have a single rule only only one rule with one antecedent means with a single antecedent so when we say single antecedent means we have the only one input this means x is the single antecedent x is a is the single antecedent so here since the rule is already with us here we have the rule and this rule is in this form if x is a then y is b and rule is single as we can already see and also here the antecedent also is single so i can write here a single antecedent antecedent so single antecedent and single rule all right so now when we have this kind of scenario in mamdani model or this kind of scenario of mamdani model if we substitute or if we uh, feed an unknown input what is this fuzzy model is going to give us so this means what this means that if we have let's say a model here a fuzzy model and this from fuzzy model is the mamdani model mamdani type of model mamdani model and if i am giving 
an input here, some input x is equal to something and this model is going to give us some output here which normally is the crisp output. So let us see what we are going to get and as I have already mentioned that this model here in this case has this Mamdani model has a single fuzzy rule. So this model has a single fuzzy rule and also this rule has only a single antecedent which I have already mentioned. Now if a new input comes, if a new unknown input is comes, unknown means this uh, the, that input which this model has never seen. So if some input is coming to this model as input and then this model is going to generate some output corresponding to that input. Now what is this output is going to be if my input is a fuzzy input or maybe a crisp input. So when we say fuzzy input it means we provide, we feed a fuzzy value as the input. So there can be two kinds of input. One is here is the fuzzy input directly fed to the model or maybe the crisp input fed to the model. So when we say fuzzy input, so fuzzy input means a fuzzy set or fuzzy value is directly given to the model. And when we say crisp input then we feed some value of x. So let us take the first case where we are giving the fuzzy input. So, so when we say fuzzy input it means x, x is a fuzzy value. So here we see that we have the fuzzy input. So fuzzy input means x is x as the input is fuzzy. So the model is ready, model is known. When we say model is known means this rule is known here the, and this model has a single ru rule and uh, the premise part of this rule is x is a which you can see here x is a. And uh, y is b. So this means that for any x which is falling in a fuzzy region corresponding to that the output is going to fall in y in b fuzzy region. So here let us now let us now apply the input to this fuzzy model where we have a single rule with single antecedent. So let us do this quickly and see what we are going to get. So our input is a dash. So our input is x which is a dash. A dash is here. This is a fuzzy quantity. This is a fuzzy quantity. So fuzzy quantity is al always in the form of a fuzzy set. So this is a fuzzy quantity or fuzzy value or uh, it's a fuzzy set basically. So we see that here we have a fuzzy set which is fed to the model as input. So now let us apply this and see what is the corresponding output that we are going to get. So what we have done here is that we have the rule that is with us, the single rule and this is the rule x is a then y is b. Now the a dash the fuzzy, see here the fuzzy value as the input that is fed to the model
fudgy value here. So, when this is fed to the model, now let us superimpose this a dash with a and when we superimpose these two fuzzy sets. So, a dash is the fuzzy value which is given as the input to the model and a was already known, a is already existing here in the fuzzy rule. Now, when we superimpose these two fuzzy sets a dash a, a dash and a, we see here that these two are intersecting to some point and this is the point of intersection. So, here when we see, we find that uh, corresponding to this intersection point, we, its membership value is 0.58. So, we note this point, 0.58, the intersection point and please note that there may be multiple points which point of in intersection you might get. So, when we get multiple points, then we take the maximum of these two and the maximum will apply. So, we, 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 we take the maximum of the, the intersection points and then the with the maximum we, we, we will proceed. So, the next step here is to in this case, we have 0.58 0 0.58 as the value of the point of intersection. This we call as the weight. So, we call this as the W. We call this as the W. So, this is the point of intersection. Now, with this value, with this weight, we truncate the output. So, output you see here and with this value of w, see here, this is my w and with this value if we truncate the output fuzzy set B. So, what is that we are getting here is the this this solid area the truncated area which is blackened. So, this area is the output corresponding to the fuzzy input A dash. We may call this fuzzy area which is the blackened one, the sated one is B dash. So, here the corresponding to the fuzzy value, this fuzzy value is fuzzy input, we are getting the output and again this output is the fuzzy output. So, this means that when we have a fuzzy, when we have a Mamdani fuzzy model with single rule, with single antecedent, we get the output like this corresponding to fuzzy input. So, now here in this case the output has been fuzzy has been corresponding to the fuzzy input. Now, what if we have the crisp input for the same model? So, let us and before that uh, here I would like to mention one more thing that since we are using the max min composition. So, here we have the w which is here, the w 
if we would have multiple antecedents this min would have been applicable because here we have a single point of intersection so we are getting only one w so single single antecedent i would say single antecedent so for single ante antecedent we have single w even if we would have multiple point of intersections in this case we would have avoided the conflict by taking the max and we for single antecedent we will have single w but if we would have multiple antecedents so for multiple antecedents we would have either used max min composition or max product composition so even if we take the min of w we are going to have the same value that is 0 0.058 so with this value we truncate now we can have the max product composition so since we have here the w which is again the single value so for the single value whether you take the min or product both will remain the same so here also we'll have the same value 0.58 so here in this case the both the max min or max product both are going to give the same truncated fuzzy value now comes here after this uh, 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 the output of this single rule now we take the max of it so since we have only one rule even if we take max the same value is going to come so that is why whatever is here is coming here directly so max of this same value is going to give us the same fuzzy value so in today's lecture we have discussed the mamdani fuzzy model using max min and max composition max product compositions for single rule with single antecedent for fuzzy input in the next lecture we will continue our discussion with mamdani fuzzy model thank you